Well hello there and welcome to my channel. Um, now you may be thinking Alex always your highlighter because I'm obsessed as you would know but we are actually going to be doing a swatching and testing video on the Revolution Glow Get Up palette. This comes with eight different shades. Um, it ranges from like quite a peachy shade to a green to a pinky shade, golden. It's got pretty much every highlight you would need. This does come um, in a slightly darker shade, um, obviously people with medium to dark skin tones, um, but this is obviously perfect for pale skin. This has been out for quite a while, I've had it for quite a while, uh, probably since before Christmas. Um, haven't actually used it yet, even though I wanted it for quite a while. And these retail for £15 each, which I think is so good for eight different highlight shades. If I do sound a bit nasally, it's because I'm just getting over a cold. So this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. It looks exactly like the over highlighters, um, like with the sort of crinkles round the outside. And these, this does look like their, um, their highlighter palette as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be swatching them for you. I'm going to be putting a few on my face, and we're going to see if this is worth fifteen pounds. So these are what all the shades look like. We have Rose Gold Kiss, Champagne Kiss, Dream Kiss, and Glow Kiss. And this is what the bottom row looks like. This is Golden Kiss. This is Peach Gold Kiss. Prismatic Kiss and Mint Kiss. Just want to quickly mention, um, I found the bottom row highlight shades were a lot more pigmented than the ones at the top. Don't know if that's you know the case, but I don't know. I just thought that these were, had a little bit more pigment to them and they showed up a lot more. I, I'm sure you'll be able to tell in the swatches. Um, I definitely can tell that Champagne Kiss is more of a chunky glitter highlight more than, you know, a nice smooth highlight. I'd probably say that these bottom four and that one up there are probably a bit too dark for me um, because yeah they're just a bit too dark for my pale skin they probably won't look oh, as good. So when we are testing them we're going to be testing it. Oh my god. She dug my nail in it again. So when we are testing these, we are going to be testing Champagne Kiss, Dream Kiss and Glow Kiss. Um, whenever I'm highlighting, I'm always using the Zoeva um, Luxe Powder Diffusion Brush. Um, I've tried many ones, uh, but the, this is definitely my favourite. Um, so we're going to start off with a Glow Kiss and we're going to put that one on our cheekbones. So, this one's not really... Powdery. Ooh. Oh my god, that's so, that is very big into this one. It's a tiny bit powdery, but Okay, uh, that glow kiss is really good. Um, it's quite an icy shade, as you can tell. Um, it's not chunky, it actually looks really nice. It's a tiny bit powdery, but it's not so bad. Like, I can, I can live with it. Um, but no, the colour's really nice as well. It looks, it looks really good. Like that one. Um, we're going to take Champagne Kiss and we're going to get another brush. I'm going to take Champagne Kiss, I'm going to put that one in our inner corners. Um, my mirrors are under my camera, so that would be why I'm looking down there. Oh, Okay. 
yeah it's definitely a glittery I don't know how much you can tell but it's definitely a chunky glitter highlighter whereas this one is a lot more smooth still nice though it's got a really nice purpley pink undertone whereas this one's like silver um, and the last one we're going to do testing is Dream Kiss and we're going to put that on our nose and just a little bit on our forehead and on our cute nose. I'm just going to take this brush again. I'm just going to, where it's like different shades, I'm just going to tap around all of them. This one's a bit more powdery. Powdery? Is that even a word? No. This is a lot more powdery. Oh, I like that. A bit more. I've got lipstick on. I'm going to like that. That's a really nice shade as well. It's definitely a bit more bluey pinky. Um, I don't know if they just take over the other shades, but that is what it looks like and what all the other highlights look like. Right, so now the all the highlighters are applied, I can give you my final opinion. Um, I actually really like this palette. I probably wouldn't reach for it day to day just because the shade and the formula are not my favourite but um, it still is a really good highlight palette to have in your collection especially if you're a makeup artist you know people like different tones different shades for different types of events and stuff so I think this is really good for the price I think it's so very really good as well especially as you get eight pans and they are really big pans as well so i think 15 pounds is a really good price i don't love all of the highlighters in here and um, my favorite is probably the one i've got on my cheekbones which is a glow kiss um i did like that dream kiss as well but it does have a little pinky undertone um obviously these shades down here and that rose gold kiss are definitely too dark for me so I probably wouldn't be able to reach for them. Maybe when I'm tanned in the summer maybe but just not when I'm super pale. Um, but yeah I really enjoyed this palette. Um, I'm glad I do have it. I will reach for it again. I will reach for it again just not day to day. Um, so yeah that's pretty much it um, I've swatched tested them please let me know if you enjoyed this video it's obviously I've never done like swatches um, as well as testing them before testing my products before but if you did enjoy it please leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below about what was your favorite highlighter that I used and if you actually have got this palette and if you do have it what is your opinion on it because I'd love to know um, so yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!